Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video we're going to talk about design options. Over the door, we're going to consider two design options for the entrance canopy. Let's try it. Design option is here. At the bottom of the screen, it says design options. I want to create a whole new set and uh, I'm going to maybe click on it, rename it as canopy options. And I want to rename this one as Canopy 1 and uh, a new option. I want to click on it and rename it as Canopy number 2. Okay, so Canopy 1, close. Uh, also, I want to have my left view here so I can take a look from the left side, which is my west facade. That's all good. And then I want to have this WT side by side. And now I want to go with architecture, component, model in place. I would consider it as a roof category. OK, I'm going to name this Canopy 1. OK. So here, uh, how about I go with an extrusion? So maybe I can set my grid 3 here as my work plane. So I'll go here, I'll go with set. I'm going to set my, let's say, grid 3. Okay. Uh, I can draw something in, in this level. Uh, maybe from here I'm going to have a half a meter canopy, uh, 5 centimeters on this end. And maybe on the other end, it goes as high as 0.2 over there. You can consider a little drip area here. Unjoin, and then I'm going to close this part. So this is a sample of a canopy. You see it's drawing it there. I'm going to finish this. and. Uh, finish model. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to move it to the edges of the door. Uh, actually, there is a little bit of a conflict. So I want to go with editing in place. I want to select this. I'm going to go with edit extrusion and I'm going to move the whole thing actually to the edge. So it's, uh, it has no conflicts over there. So that's one design for the canopy. Uh, then I want to click on the canopy. Uh, I want to click on add to set and I want to add it to canopy one primary. So it's added to this set only. Okay. So now if I go make my canopy two primary, you don't see any canopies there. So now I can have a second design. I'm going to go with architecture, component, model in place, another roof icon. And I'm going to name this Canopy 2. Uh, canopy option B. OK. Now I can create another extrusion. Maybe this time I can model it around here. Uh, so I'm going to go with a canopy from here to here. I'm going to limit this to the surrounding mullions over here and over here. And I'm going to close this end of it. Maybe three. Okay, maybe this is our next canopy, just that it, uh, it was a level one. I can say edit work plane and I'm going to say go with level 2. Let's see if it's too high. Um, it's actually over there. So I'm going to go with level 1. So I'm going to change the edit work plane back to level 1. OK, but then we need a little bit of an offset. I'm going to first finish this model. Let's get some dimension. DI from here to here is 2.4. So I'm going to click on the canopy. I'm going to go with uh, edit in place. I'm going to select the canopy. Uh, to the start point, I want to say 2.4. And to the end, I want to say 
uh, 6, so it's like 20 centimeters and then finish model. So we have two canopies now. Then select on the canopy, go to the add to set. This time we're only going to add it, add it to canopy two settings. So if I make my other canopy primary, other option, if you make that one primary, you see the other canopy in different views. But if we go with canopy two, make it primary, we see the second canopy. I want to leave it on the first one. I like the first one better. I think it's more practical. Uh, so this video was specifically on design options. That's it for this video. We'll continue in the next videos. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.